Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. Let's talk about movies. We're back with the end of month haul for September. Let's take a look at everything I grabbed throughout September. Let's get into it. It's great to see you guys back here checking out this video on the Movie Vault. I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers. The goal is to get there before the end of the year. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so and hit that little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Now, end of month haul. You guys know how it goes at this stage. We're gonna do 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, uh, music and vinyl stuff at the end check out this timestamps or the chapter links in the description below if you want to jump to a certain format let's kick it off with 4k so the first 4k pickup for september was david lynch's june dune whatever way you want to call that the uh, arrow limited edition there the hard case and all that sort of stuff uh, i did review this on the channel so if you want to find out more about what i think about june on a first time watch do check out the video here on the channel So the second and actually last 4K pickup for September was the one and only The Thing Universal's release. They've matched it really nice to the studio canals, which we can see on the shelf down there behind me, guys. Uh, delighted with this one. 4K looks phenomenal on this. Highly recommend. Again, if you want to know more about this, check out my uh, review video also here on the channel. Let's quickly pause this video for a second, guys. I want to let you guys know about my Patreon and YouTube membership accounts. It features six plus hours of content that's not featured here on the main channel. If you're interested in seeing more of my full collection tours and all that kind of thing, check out the links in the description, Patreon and YouTube memberships. You can get access to that stuff for as little as one euro per month. Let's get back to the video. So we're jumping to Blu-ray now, guys. Uh, first Blu-ray pickup was 88 Films. It's the Slasher Collection and it is number 35. And the Slasher Collection, Alice, Sweet Alice here. I think this is known by uh, an, an alternative name, I believe. Uh, I can't recall, actually it's on the, Holy Terror, it's on the reverse uh, of the sleeve art there. Holy Terror, yes. Uh, this is one I kind of, I wanted to grab for a while and uh, I got it and I kind of watched half of it. And I think I commented in a watch this video, I didn't uh, enjoy what I watched and I kind of turned it off. But a lot of you guys said to stick with it and give it another chance. So at some point I will check out the rest of Alice, Sweet Alice. Next one up on the Blu-ray guys, I did uh, cover this on uh, a review fest for Umbrella Entertainment. It's a horror movie called Nightmares, this uh, Australian exploitation. It's in their exploitation classics line here with the slip cover and uh, we get alternative, nice alternative artwork there on that. Um, really cool, I uh, uh, like this horror one. Yeah, again, check out my review video if you want. I don't keep meaning to send you guys to another video, but uh, if you want to know more about this one, what I thought of it, uh, do check out the full review in that review fest video. Also in that review fest video, guys, I checked out the uh, Sunborn Screens uh, number six side sp or, uh, spine number in the uh, Umbrella Entertainment uh, line up Malcolm this uh, Australian movie I think I said in that review video guys not for me but yeah interesting to have seen this and another new movie to tick off the list that I've watched here next one up was an indicator pickup this is spine number 34 this is the eyes of Laura Mars this is the only uh it was one of the Carpenter ones I was missing from the collection. John Carpenter wrote the script for this one, guys. Faye Dunaway, Tommy Lee Jones stars. Uh, Irvin Kirshner directs. I have never seen this one, uh, so I'm looking forward to checking it out at some point and another one to add to the indicator lineup. So uh, really, really cool. Uh, the Eyes of Laura Mars. Next pickup, actually, I grabbed the two of these uh, from work. I've switched jobs, so we'll kind of discuss that in uh, later on in the video with the vinyl stuff. But uh, I, uh, I never saw this in my old job on uh, spine number one in the indicator lineup. Uh, Christine, Carpenter's Christine, I do have the 4K. Um, I believe there is some different uh, bonus features or audio commentary tracks on the indicator release. So um, you know me, sucker for a different cover. So I uh, wanted to grab the indicator version of Christine and delighted to add it to the collection. Next one up here, guys, was another review. Uh, review one sent to me by 101 Films, another Black Label release, number 22 in the Black Label series, uh, The Boys Next Door. I did cover this on the channel. The video didn't do so well. I'm not too sure if you guys are not interested in the movie or the review was bad, but uh, this is a cool uh, Penelope Spears directs this one. Uh, Charlie Sheen, Maxwell Caulfield. Uh, really interesting one, you know, feels like an 80s, mid 80s, natural born killers type movie. 
um, I do recommend checking it out if you get a chance and uh, yeah look out for my full review here on the channel of the boys next door and last but not least in the blu-ray uh, haul this month again black label 101 uh, series point number 21 this is 1983 uh, suburbia this is another one directed by penelope spears again 101 sent me this to review and cover here on the channel guys i did do a separate video again on the channel so you'll see that and hear more of my thoughts on this one but really interesting a lot of punk bands from the you know the la scene and 80s is in there uh, DJ TSOL and the Vandals and stuff like that so if you're into that music I know a lot of people commented on this they kind of lived in the area or they were into the scene at the time so yeah would highly recommend checking out Suburbia if that's your kind of thing so usually at this stage of the video I kind of talk about the DVD haul that I got for the month uh, I did get a bunch of DVDs and added them to the collection here guys but I've already I've done a kind of a DVD haul video like about a week or two ago so I will direct you guys to a link in the description of this video. I don't want to go through them here because this video will end up like 30 minutes long. So uh, there was some cool stuff in there. Obviously a lot of stuff I didn't have that was delighted to add to the collection. So check out that separate video if you want to see the DVDs I got throughout September. Um, there was also a VHS haul. You can kind of maybe see them down here in the corner behind me. They're starting to kind of pile up in here. Um, I've done a, D a VHS haul part one. There's another two parts to come to that, guys. I'm still going through cleaning the videos and getting them ready. I will display them somewhere at some point. Um, it just takes time. So uh, that's kind of the DVD VHS part of the video. So music pickups now, guys. I mentioned earlier about switching jobs. So I left the other job I was in and I'm now working in Tower Records, which is awesome. Uh, you know, uh, getting to work with 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, music vinyl all that sort of cool stuff so uh, actually this month i think i probably bought as much vinyl as i did blu-rays and stuff like that and um, there's just not a lot of good stuff coming out at the moment i kind of feel with the 4ks and the blu-rays so let's jump into cd and vinyl pickups for the month okay so first one up guys cd um i wanted the vinyl of this uh, unfortunately we didn't get one into work so uh, we only got one copy of the cd so it needed to have it this is life forms angels and airwaves uh, I spoke about them on the channel before. I really like Angels and Airwaves, and they, they've done it in this weird kind of foil packaging, uh, which you open up, and the CD is in there. Um, in terms of the album, uh, I'm kind of 50 50 on it, guys. I kind of like sometimes I listen to it and I think it's good, sometimes I listen to it and it kind of feels like it's demos or something left over from other albums. The songs, some of the songs sound really familiar to older albums, but either way, I have all the stuff, so I needed to grab it for the collection. First vinyl pickup here uh, is uh, she's an Irish uh, singer songwriter. It's Orla Gartland, uh, Woman on the Internet is the name of this album. It's just a black vinyl in there, so uh, nothing special there. But that was uh, that was the first pickup for the vinyl stuff. Next one, guys, I love this band, uh, Churches. This is uh, Screen Violence. Screen Violence. I have them in the plastic uh, protective sleeve here. Uh, I want to show you guys this vinyl because it's really nice uh, red. Yeah, there we go. Really nice kind of red. Uh, red vinyl here for Church's Screen Violence. Next one, uh, double double LP, nothing fancy, just black vinyl, Escape from New York, this kind of, uh, I guess like reissue or something, again, spotting in work, so I had to grab it, uh, just a black vinyl there. You know, I love a good carpenter, so uh, Escape from New York was the next one up. Okay guys, this came in and I had to have it, you know, I love Batman, I have the Batman section stuff behind me, so uh, this is the Hans Zimmer, the Dark Knight uh, score. This is a double LP, it's a Joker inspired neon green and violet splatter vinyl. So uh, give me two seconds to show you guys what this looks like. So this is the first one and um, it, it may be hard to see but you can kind of see the, this is the violet and the neon green splatter there, looks really really cool. And then there is the second LP guys, the green, neon green and the violet splatter. Uh, looks phenomenal, sounds phenomenal, awesome stuff. Next one up, uh, another one, had to grab guys, Death Proof, Quentin Tarantino. This is a limited edition tricolor vinyl. So once again, bear with me guys, because I want to show you what this looks like here. Uh, absolutely stunning, this one. You have the clear and the black and the red. And you get that Death Proof in there, awesome stuff. Uh, love it, cool soundtrack as well. And last but not least, this is The Way of Darkness. The Way of the, the way of Darkness, the John Carpenter tribute. I saw this online and didn't kind of grab it at the time. Um, we got it through work. 
Um, this is limited, uh, there's only 499 copies, so uh, delighted you have gotten one. Um, limited holographic lavender vinyl. Give me two seconds to show you guys this. So it may be kind of hard to see with the light here guys, but it, uh, you can kind of see it. It is kind of see-through, but there you kind of get a good idea of the purple, the lavender vinyl. Um, looks awesome. Uh, in terms of the covers and stuff, there some of them are really cool. One or two of them towards the end are not great, but yeah, um, yeah, pretty cool one to have in the collection, you guys. No, I can't pass up a carpenter. Okay, guys, there you have it. That was the September end of month haul. Some good stuff. As I said, was kind of surprised uh, by the vinyl that I bought compared to the Blu-rays and the 4Ks. Uh, you know, a lot of Blu-rays in there. Uh, some review stuff, of course, but um, yeah, just not a lot of great 4K Blu-ray stuff coming out at the moment. Um, but yeah, you can expect more as always coming from me here on the channel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. As I mentioned at the start, don't forget to subscribe and consider hitting the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. On the road to 4,000 subscribers. It's really awesome, guys. Really cool. I really appreciate your support. Thanks as always, and I'll see you on the next one.